สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again. Today is Wednesday, the 17th of March, 2021, and this is the English language summary of the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA, as always. So, firstly, it's just to inform you that this morning we had a meeting regarding the proposed um, relaxation of measures for the Songkran uh, Festival, which will be uh, coming soon next month, uh, and there are various proposals for that, and I'll get. Uh, I'll brief that uh, to you in a short while. Now, first of all, just to start with the numbers that we have for today, and we'll have a slide coming up for you. The key number that you will see on screen is uh, 975, which is the number of people who are currently being treated in Thailand. You may notice that this number is getting slightly uh, higher, uh, and I'll come to that soon, because we have a new confirmed case, which is 248. If you notice, in the past days, we had around... 50-ish, uh, uh, lower than 100 per day. But today we have 248 with 40 new recoveries. Uh, out of the 248, 163 cases are from active case finding. So just to recap on the Songkran uh, proposal, so this, these proposals that I'll be mentioning will be finalized on Friday. The discussion for the proposal was today, but we'll finalize this on Friday during the general CCSA meeting wherein the Prime Minister will be chairing the meeting. Now, among the proposals include the no water splashing during Songkran, as well as asking for blessings uh, from the elderly as part of the uh, Thai tradition during Songkran instead. And the key words in Thai for this is rin rot prom. So basically, uh, pour or sprinkle water on the hands of the elderly uh, wearing masks and avo avoid uh, water splashing. And focusing on the traditional custom of Songkran that uh, Thai people know very well, Rin Rot Prom. The Prime Minister had also previously asked for the cooperation of the people during Songkran to follow the strict disease control measures, including area control uh, in terms of entrance and exits, mask wearing and keeping a uh, checkup, and of course using the Thai Chana uh, application. So in detail, these measures will be finalized on Friday and announced uh, in, in due course. Now, just to mention that in the relevant uh, provinces that we are talking about in terms of the cluster that we have in Samut Sakon that we had and the district of Bangka in Bangkok, which uh, there had been some uh, cases found positive from that area, the relevant agencies are looking uh, deeper into these uh, various markets, uh, fresh markets, uh, to see how much, how effectively the DMHTT measures are being practiced uh, in those areas, as well as in reviewing the various uh, practices uh, under the Bangkok Metropolitan uh, Administration in which these fresh markets in Bangkok are under the jurisdiction of the Bangkok Metropolitan um, administration. Now, um, in terms of the Bangke uh, district, there had been, in effect, some other provinces which had been actually affected by the Bangke district uh, cluster. Uh, a few positive cases in certain provinces. One particular province is Sisaket, uh, wherein actually it was the first time that a positive case was recorded in Sisaket. So Sisaket is no longer in the list of provinces with zero positive cases. There had been one uh, positive case in Sisaket. And that one case is actually uh, from the cluster of Bangka, meaning that a vendor uh, from Bangka went home to uh, his or her uh, domicile, his or her province in Sisaket. Uh, and tested positive, therefore Sisaket was counted as being a province now with uh, COVID uh, infection. But nevertheless, in Bangka district, the reason that the numbers are increasing in that uh, district in Bangkok is actually because of the commencement of active case finding missions uh, in Bangka district. Now, so far, around 6,000 plus people have been uh, tested uh, in that area in Bangkok uh, through the swab test or the pool saliva test. And the active case finding will continue in Bangka district and all these uh, markets. So expect to see the number of positive cases in the 
days ahead be increased uh, slightly from the last week. But rest assured that they are from the active case finding and the faster that we are able to root out the uh, positive cases in Bangkia district and we'll put the positive cases, of course, into the uh, medical uh, care system. So the faster we find them, the, the better. And just expect to see the numbers increase uh, in due course in the few days. But uh, in, a, in a good way, in a way that we are in control, we are able to control and uh, identify all those people who are positive in, in the area. Now, talking about Bang Ke, uh district a little, a little further, with the active case finding that we have in uh, Bang Ke district in Bangkok, there had been the grant uh, by His Majesty the King of uh, four biosafety vehicles uh, to the public uh, health officials for the COVID tests in that district, in Bangkia district. After asymptomatic cases were reported among visitors to some of the markets in the area, and you have an image there of the uh, royally uh, granted uh, uh, equipment, uh, vehicles, the government of Bangkok had also said that people who have uh, visited the markets in Bangkia, namely Siri Setanon, Bangka Shopping Center, Githi Market, Pasom Market, Bangka New Market, and Wonder Market, from the dates of the 20th of February until the 16th of March, should undergo testing at, a, at the mobile unit, uh, which will be stationed at a public park near a department store uh, called the Mall Bang Bangka. Yes, so another related issue is, as the Dr. Apisamai had uh, summarized just now is that about the vaccination, the Prime Minister yesterday uh, and 15 ministers of the cabinet received the COVID vaccine uh, already, AstraZeneca, uh, at, here at the Santi Maitri building at the government house uh, where we are right now in this complex before the cabinet meeting that they had yesterday on Tuesday. Uh, this was broadcast live on Facebook of the Thai uh, government spokesman. Uh, reassuring the public of the vaccine's uh, safety and effectiveness. The Department of Medical Sciences and the Food and Drug Administration, as well as the Disease Control Department, had been evaluating this data related to the case and determined that the vaccine is safe for use in line with the World Health Organization's clarification that no evidence suggests AstraZeneca's vaccine do actually cause, cause uh, blood clot. Now, talking um, about vaccines, just a little bit on the vaccine distribution plan uh, update in, in Thailand. So since the 28th of February, when we received the first uh, batch of vaccines, until today, we have tallied 53,842 uh, total uh, inoculations uh, in Thailand already. 53,000, and the number of vaccinations would continue to rise as we go forward with the vaccination plan in Thailand as, as set out uh, earlier. Um, just one additional piece of information which may be uh, useful to the English language audience, that uh, on Thailand's uh, COVID rapid response test kits, uh, what we call the COXI AMP, so the Food and Drug Administration, FDA of Thailand, has recently certified a COVID-19 rapid response test kit named Co Coxie Amp, which can show a test result in just 75 minutes with the cost each test kit estimated at 300 baht, which is faster and less expensive than the RT-PCR technique. Uh, this, test kit, well, this, this test kit was jointly developed by the Biotech uh, Center of the NSTDA and the Faculty of Tropical Medicine of Mahidon University. And the actual tests on 146 sample specimens during uh, using this, using, using these kits, show that they have a 92% sensitivity, 100% specificity, and 97% accuracy without the need for further expert analysis. And many Thai companies have shown interest in the COXI, these COXI AMP uh, test kits with an aim to acquire technology transfer uh, to mass produce them at an industrial level in the uh, near future. So this is news about continuous uh, innovation uh, in Thailand regarding testing. 
So just in closing, there may have been a lot of uh, graphs and information that you see in the you saw in the Thai language uh, edition. Some of the graphs in some parts, for example, in Bangkok, may have looked a bit steep, uh, but nevertheless, we will still continue to uh, seek for controllable, a controllable situation with the active case finding, particularly in Bangkok, although the numbers that you see might get a little bit uh, steeper. So as there are more active cases arising from the markets in the Bang Ka district that we, I mentioned, we'd like to just advise to not forget DMH uh, TT wherever you go for groceries, for shoppings, to prevent uh, disease uh, transmission, and uh, practicing these uh, particularly these uh, measures, particularly during peak hours, and perhaps uh, limit uh, outdoor shopping hours uh, as necessary, and make uh, shopping lists, of course, to reduce your time when you go to supermarkets or or markets. And there's an infographic in. Uh, uh, related to that, uh, that was shown to you just just now. So thank you very much for your attention, and we'll see you again on Friday. On Friday, we'll be having the general CCSA meeting with a lot of information that will be released, a lot of uh, decisions and uh, measures that will be finalized by the Prime Minister, who is the director of the CCSA. So hoping, looking forward to uh, report uh, that to you uh, in detail on Friday again. Thank you. Have a great weekend. สวัสดีครับ. กลับขอบพระคุณค่ะท่านนัทพานุนกพคุณรองอธิบดีกรมสารนิเทศและรองโฆษกกระทรวงการต่างประเทศนะคะ